of Breitbart.com. Nice to have you joining us. So is this the, is this the video that, that Andrew Breitbart was talking about at, at CPAC? Is that it, what I just showed? That is one of the materials Andrew Breitbart was talking about. And by the way, those weren't his last words, and this is not his final bombshell. This is the beginning of a vetting process that begins with Andrew Breitbart's probe into Barack Obama's time in Chicago and will continue. We're not just vetting Barack Obama, we're also vetting the other candidates. But the mainstream media won't and didn't vet Barack Obama, and that's why Andrew Breitbart threw down the gauntlet there at CPAC. Okay, so then let's go back to the clips that I just showed. Uh, where, what part of that was the bombshell? Because I missed it. I don't get it. What was a bombshell? Well, the bombshell is the revelation of the relationship between Obama and Derrick Bell. Obama didn't just okay, lead so a protest on behalf of... Okay, so he's a Harvard Law student and a Harvard Law professor, yeah. That's correct, and... Derek Bell is the Jeremiah Wright of academia. He passed away last year, but during his lifetime, he developed a theory called critical race theory, which holds that the civil rights movement was a sham and that white supremacy is the order and it must be overthrown. So that is a Barack complete Obama misreading. I'll stop you there for a second, then I'm going to let you continue. But that is a complete misreading of critical race theory. As you know, that's an actual theory, and you could Google it. You could Google it. You could Google it. You could Google it. Walk on this racist power structure, and we're gonna say to the whole damn government, stick them up, motherfucker. This is a hold up. We come for what's ours. In what way is it a critical misreading? Can well, you explain to me? No, Do you know what critical I'm, Explain to your readers what critical race theory is. Explain I'm gonna to ask you to continue on. I'm just gonna point out that that is inaccurate. Keep going. Tell me what the bombshell is. I, I haven't well, seen it. Well, wait a minute. You've made a claim. You've made a claim that my characterization of critical race theory as the opposite of Martin Luther King is inaccurate. You're telling your viewers that, but you're not telling critical them what it is. Critical race theory critical looks ra into the intersection of race and politics and the law. And as a legal academic who would study this and write about it, he would advance the theory about what exactly happened when the law was uh, examined in terms of racial politics. There is no white supremacy in that. It is a theory. It's an academic theory, and as one of the leading academics at Harvard Law School, he was one of the people as part of that conversation. So that is a short uh, I'm, I'm definition glad, of I'm it. Glad now, we've got you, <laughs> I'm now, glad we've got go you on. saying that on tape because that's a complete misrepresentation. Critical race theory is all about white supremacy. Critical race theory holds that civil rights laws are ineffective, that racial equality is impossible because the legal and constitutional system What I just said, the intersection of supremacy. race and politics uh, when it comes no, to under the law. No, but you said white supremacy is not what part I'm trying you to said, figure out what's the bombshell. No, this is critical. Get back this is critical. What's the this bombshell? is critical. It's not critical. What's this the This is critical. You can't derail this, Soledad. White supremacy is the heart of critical race theory, and Obama knew it. And by the time Obama embraced him at Harvard Law School, Derrick Bell had already given a speech in Chicago just two months before that caused a sensation, which was about how white supremacy was still the order of the day and that black people were fooling themselves if they thought civil rights and equality were achievable goals. He said this, and one of the people who came to his defense, by the way, was Jeremiah Wright, so with whom Bell had so correspondence so are, over is your This point, is, is your a point, connection that is very important. So your point, you're trying to make the point that Derrick Bell was somehow a, a, a serious radical. Is that what you're trying to say? And by connecting President Obama to Derrick Bell, a Harvard Law student, to a Harvard Law professor, the first black tenured professor at Harvard Law School, you're trying to make that connection? Is that the bombshell? Don't believe me. Believe Henry Louis Gates Jr., who said that Derrick Bell had a blind spot for anti-Semitism. Don't believe me. Believe one of Derrick Bell's there are fellow of people who debated critic. There are plenty of people who debated uh, that theory. There's no question about it. But if, if your point, if your bombshell is that 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 Derrick Bell is a, a radical, is that is that what you're trying to say? I'm, I'm just trying to understand what the bombshell is because I haven't seen a bombshell yet. The bombshell is happening. The bombshell is happening right here on this program where we've got a story and you're not interested in telling your viewers who Derrick Bell actually is. You want to come in and obfuscate and tell me that I don't know what critical race theory is, that white supremacy has nothing to do with it, that Barack Obama is just embracing a guy. This is about Barack Obama's connection to a radical legal theory that he didn't just embrace when he was a student at Harvard. When he was a teacher at the University of Chicago, he forced his students to read Derrick Bell, including some of the most inflammatory A lot of law students read Derrick Bell. It's law. part of the... Uh, you really do not understand. No more peace in our community. No more peace in our community. No more peace in our community. No more peace in our
Ah, 